So maybe you're trying to plan out your dream bike. If money was no object, what exactly would you put on that bike? Or maybe you're in a fortunate enough position where you've already upgraded your bike to hell and back, and you're moving on to your next build, except wait. There's one more part that you can consider upgrading and being a baller with, and that is your headset. Is that a car alarm? No way, someone's stealing that car, said no one ever. Welcome back to another 3 Minute Thursday brought to you in collaboration with Wobby Cycles. To learn more about the bike that puts a big dumb smile on my face every time I pedal it and makes me feel like a kid again, be sure to check out Wobby Cycles linked at the top of the description. And this is the best reason to upgrade your headset. Essentially, I'm here to justify you being bad with your money. But before we get into that, can you guys do me a solid and follow me on Instagram. I am 10 followers away from 10,000 and at 10,000 you finally get that swipe up feature so you can stop saying like link in bio and stupid stuff like that. You can get some dope behind the scenes content just like this. So be sure to give me a follow over on Instagram. Thanks. Should you upgrade your headset? Well, that depends on what kind of fixed gear rider you are. And there are two types of fixed gear riders. The first type of fixed gear rider is the one that follows their heart and goes for all the fixie points, and in that case, yes. The second type of fixed gear rider is the one that follows their brain and likes money, and in which case, no, you shouldn't upgrade your headset. And there's a couple of legitimate reasons where you should upgrade your headset. The first being if your headset sucks and it's giving you problems. This can happen particularly if you have a cheap threaded headset which can loosen over time and can go out of adjustment and be just a pain in the neck to deal with. But even when it comes to threadless headsets, cheap headsets can give riders absolutely zero problems. But the most important reason you should upgrade your headset is because you want fixie points. You want the social status that's associated with the brand on the headsets, and you want everybody to know how much money you have to spend on bikes. But a headset's a headset, right? Why are some more expensive than others? Chris King, Cane Creek 110, White Industries, Phil Wood, those are all made in the United States, and any NJS headset is going to be made in Japan. Labor is expensive in these places of the world. They're going to pass that on to the final price in the headset. Although more expensive, they technically are better, even if they're not better in any way that's appreciable under real world riding conditions. They have much stricter manufacturing tolerances. The bearings are going to fit absolutely perfectly into the races, and these headsets will Will have perfect gaps between the headset races and the caps. And some headsets are more expensive than others because simply they can be. People are willing to pay the premium for these headsets and price is dictated by what people are willing to pay. Fixie points for most people are by far the most important reason to consider when upgrading your headset. <laughs> a lot of these boutique headsets come in a variety of different anodized colors, and headsets are the perfect piece for your bike to add an accent color. Headsets can also tie an entire build together. It can just feel right to put a baller headset on a bike that is otherwise completely baller. And if you appreciate finely made things, you will appreciate having a nicer headset. And if a headset's country of origin or even region of origin gives you pride and makes you happy to have that piece on your bike, by all means, go ahead and get that boutique headset. And yeah, nobody needs a Chris King headset, but I'm pretty sure you want one. It's essentially jewelry for your bike. And if you have any video suggestions for what we should cover in 3 Minute Thursday next, be sure to leave that in the comments below and we just might make that video. And fixie famous shoutouts to Zane Kolnick, Scott Polongi, Ryan Witz, Robbie Andial, Kelvin Ho, Justin Javier, Julian Corona, Henry Grant, Gio Dezera, David Kay, and Brandon Black for helping to make these fixed gear videos possible through their support on Patreon. And remember that life is short, but don't make it shorter, so ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous.